And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Brom. Again, I know we played it yesterday, but just like the Gangplank's Fate, today what we're doing is bringing back the rank up decks that have done really well this week. And two of them ended up being ones from yesterday, uh, Gangplank's Fate and now Vladimir Brom. And we did really well with Gangplank's Fate again today. Let's try out Vladimir Brom again today. So what I really like about this deck is that there are lots and lots of aggro decks running around right now. Lots of like Zed, small unit aggro. And this deck has two Death Lotus, three Ice Shard, three Avalanche. I like that, having all eight of those um, pretty cheap cards that can do um, a small amount of damage to a lot of units for these decks going wide. I think that's pretty good. It can also block pretty well. And you know, you have your Scar Grounds with the tough. Um, that's quite nice. And then you have like some powerful top end things that end the game pretty fast. Bloodseeker really performed well yesterday, being a good removal spell. And of course, the pairs are great with Scar Mother or Tarkaz. But yeah, you got the Tarkaz that also do, does one <laughs> damage to your opponent's blockers. As you know, they can add up with all those things. It's a pretty cool little deck. I don't have like a ton of experience playing it. But I enjoyed playing it yesterday, and so let's go ahead and bring it back. So we're going to go play seven games today. That's what we're doing. We're doing three decks, but we're doing seven games with each deck. Getting some extra practice with these rank up decks that did better. And we're up to Diamond 2, trying to get to Master's Rank. Thank you, Edson. Twist of Fate Swain. They're going to really want their Scorched Earths. Um, I'm going to mulligan my Scorched Earth, but I like Curator Troll Chance. They don't want their Scorched Earths. Because we're good against small damage sources. So that's the other thing. A lot of people, you know, people playing like Mega Rain and stuff like that these days, we're good against small damage sources. I normally would want to play the Scar Grounds, but I kind of feel like if I go Scar Grounds, they go Scorched Earth. That's kind of bad for me. I kind of want to just get something in play, and you'll maybe go like Scar Grounds next round or something. Alright, no flock. No flock. Braum gets calling striked. Braum always gets calling striked. Let us get Next round, Scar Grounds, Aristocrat. Like a fish in water. Let's go Avalanche. I'm gonna do this. Yep, so they had that score shirt at the beginning. That if I would have uh, just played round three score shirt that. Or, sorry, uh, Scar Grounds, they would have scorched that immediately. I could have done the minus two over here if I wanted um, Braum to take more damage, but I guess that, that would have set me up to a Ravenous Block killing the Braum, so. Meh. Nah. But you know, would help towards the level up, and it's difficult to get that level up on Braum when it's tough. Gotta go with the flow. Maybe worth. Hmm, I don't know. I don't like these spray fins just hitting for 25% of my life total. I don't really like that. Oh, I do also really like how Crimson Curator now makes this blood letter. Like, that's 
that's good. Like, the Blood Lighter is a good, uh, like, really good hit for the Curator. But yeah, they can, they can make it rain and that kind of stuff. Sure. So my plan was to play the this one drop into Vladimir. If I go one drop, they go Twisted Fate red card. Kills the one drop, kills the three one. Not a deal breaker though. Kneel before me. I've dressed for the occasion. I hadn't shown Flock this game. That's okay, I still have just as many cards in hand as they do, plus I got these three in play. That's a good card. Alright, let's see. So if I do this plus Entomb, that's five mana, so I have three left, so I play like the Disciple. I think that's my best play, yeah. Right? Right. Or I just play Tarkaz and Flash Freeze it. Kind of like Entombing it. Yeah, Vlad skill fizzles, unfortunately. Yeah. Pretty easy for them to stay alive. I just do that. I shouldn't have had Vladimir challenge the Powder King, but it doesn't matter. It just it doesn't matter. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. I don't necessarily love our position now that this 
Captain Farron's coming back. Like, they stay alive. They stay alive. I don't love our position. Best run while you can. Do they need our help? Okay, can't stay alive. Alright, good. They need, like, a Scorched Earth, right? Like, you know, Scorched Earth, the Varenna, and Block, and then they're staying alive. What in O? Oh. All right, eleven and four on the day. Doing a good job raking up. We had a good rank up day yesterday, also. We either twelve and eight or thirteen and seven yesterday. One of those two. Alright, so we're playing against small units. Hopefully Death Lotuses, Ice Shards, Avalanche. All that does a lot of work. However, I don't have any of that. Do I keep Troll Chant? I kind of I kind of like this start of like these two. I don't want to keep this Troll Chant. Hey, what's up Mr. Great Day, everyone? Glad you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're doing really well ranking up. Off we go. Go now. Go now. Come on, Rip. Without a sound. The bloodier the better. We get a fairly easy block right there. Then I'm forced into using this troll chant that I don't want to use. Yet. Don't want to use yet. Give me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. How can We have four mana. We play both Troll Chant and Death Lotus. You are safe with Brawl. Six. Alright, so now we can have a 2-4 challenger with Braum. My life for the order. And obviously we have the take hearts. First we fight, we should be friends. It's nothing personal. I guess I should have yeah, I guess I should have blocked here, because that's just gonna trade anyway, isn't it? Okay, they're just letting all this happen. What would we want to take heart? I guess, because if I take heart something else and then they play a spell to keep the Zed alive, that's bad for me. I guess I'll just let it happen. Look how we have grown! The order. But my friend... Here it can fly, Rib! Okay, okay! Oh. 
don't know if that's even worth it. The Yordle here is with me. Look, Lou, I made a pix too. Hello. Aww. He's gonna be super happy. Come on, Rick. We're gonna have something get plus five, plus five. Man, ghost that thing too. So that's 10? 11, because of the other plus one. 11 put me to two. Doesn't even kill them. Because they can just not block. Doesn't look great. Yes, yeah, so the good thing is like the Tarkaz does get rid of that barrier. Heck, maybe I gotta block this thing. Or challenge that thing. I guess I do, because it's an elusive. Take hard the blood letter this time, which I should have done last time. There we go. Cause like if I would have if I would have just done that and open attacks, then they would have just blocked the you know that thing and then they wouldn't have done lethal. Alright, two and oh. Two in a row. Vladimir Brown. If I would have take hearted the <clears throat> blood letter the first time, they would have taken three more damage and life would have been easier. Viego, Jarvan, Shivana. All those champions are amazing. All those champions are amazing. All right, so the curve was really high the first hand, send everything back, and then the curve is still really high. We got our two top end cards, and then two scorchers that don't do anything. This is this is a hand that needs some help. Okay, that's that's the start of some help, and that's some more help. You like this more than Soraka Brahm? <laughs> Soraka's cool though. But yeah, this you get more Never again will we you get more removal with fire. this. Uh well, I guess we'll just keep making free free units. Ready weapons. So we know they have a dragon in hand.
What am I meant to do? You know, of course I can Ice Shard plus Scorched Earth to kill this 6-5, but whenever I Ice Shard, you know, now to kill the Camarvoran Soldier, they get the... They get the Encroaching Mist. That's annoying. Hoping no fight spells. Yeah, this, this board's really loud. Even whenever you're opposing it, it's weird. They kind of... It's like the... There's like... They made something wrong with this board and with the new champions. They kind of screwed them both up. Oh, they do have the fight spell. Alright, so... That's unfortunate. Problem go and die. I can't... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't use my other Scorched Earth. I have to use the Scorched Earth on Diego. Yeah, I don't I don't know you know what's wrong with that. There's definitely something wrong with that. Alright, so we gotta get three Nexus damage in. The it, this isn't gonna do like four Nexus damage with those. Ooh, okay. Hmm, <clears throat> I think still a four five. I can't really pass. <laughs> Yamaha, what's up? Welcome to the channel. So we get plus three, plus three. Feels all right. I like your style. I like your face. So if I do this, this, that's seven mana. I still have four, so I can still flash freeze a fight spell. The Scar Mother gonna be pretty big. 15 forward overwhelm. Not now. I'm not really trying the cool decks right now. I am kind of focusing on um, focus it. I only have we only have like six more days to get to Masters rank, so I'm focusing on that. We're at Diamond Two right now, and so we're playing these three rank up decks today that were the best rank up decks we played this week. And we see there now we're three zero with Vladimir Brom. What's the deck though, Yamaha? <laughs> I 
Okay, I will see if I can figure out what this is. I always like Starlet Seer, Howling Abyss, Victor. A lot of cool cards in here, a lot of cards I like. Somebody, I saw this list the other day, somebody sent this to me the other day. Yeah, I remember this list the other day. I don't... Because, yeah, there's there's definitely cards I don't really like. Like, the shared spoils. Like, I'd rather just be playing Entreat. Like, Entreat to make sure you're drawing Victor. But I don't I don't really like all the, the different Plunder stuff. Like, the... Spoils of War is cool. That one's good. But not Spirit Walker or Shared Spoils. But yeah, that's a, that's a cool deck. All right, what do we got? We got Auction Darius. Auction Darius. This is going to be a super aggro. I think this is a good hand for super aggro. Death Lotus and Ice Shard combining together. They're both very good with the Curator. They can make some more blockers. Now we got the Braum. Sounds good so far. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. This is justice. Or maybe they're not super aggro. Maybe this is... They're playing Noxus? Noxus sounds aggro. I need the reputation. Noxus sounds pretty aggro. Arna's gonna make a meal of them. Wow, we could scorched earth this warlord's palace. And they could create another one. We'd have to kill the action first. Action. Villains beware. Whoa. So this forces them to play another pump spell. Okay, we're not. Man, can that possibly be worth it? That's probably not worth it, right? Take it's it's so in, enticing to do that, but it's probably not worth it. Reporting in. For the Empire. Yeah, those are Noxus stuff. Those seem pretty aggro. Yeah, obviously it's too late now. Like that thing's attacking. This thing's attacking. My shield is my sword. This thing's gonna challenge Listen this thing. Friend. That thing can attack. Uh, left for a snack? I, then we keep that back. They just like go in and put just a ton of stuff on the ruin runner. I can't, I can't bust up spell shield and then flash freeze it because it just fast then burst. So I need like priority first, play like ice shard to get rid of the spell shield, and then, you know, then be able to flash freeze after. That's my plan with my seven mana is I I shard flash freeze if if we're able to. Oh, 
Oh, great day. Yeah. So are you hoping for a new exp new mechanic archetype to be added with the next expansion? There's not none really come to mind. We know we know Bandle City is going to be next. But not exactly come to mind. So this is what I was worried about cuz I couldn't stop them from just doing this. They just did this immediately. So this is only 5 damage, so it put me down to 7. I can Fury of the North to save 4 life, but that may have them... If I Fury of the North, then maybe they go like Whirling Death and... I guess I only take 1 additional point of damage, I would take 6 and go to 6. Maybe Fury of the North is the best play. Because I'm scared of what, like, this puts me to 7, then they have, like, some decimates and stuff. There's kind of things that can go wrong no matter what we do. If I do something or don't do something, things can go wrong. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, next round we're gonna have seven mana. We're gonna go like what? Right now, I think I'm planning on Scar Grounds Ice Shard. Oh, why did I play this Disciple? Now I could have had. Oh, I couldn't play Scar Grounds and Vladimir anyway. I could have Vladimir Ice Shard. Oh, Vladimir Drain sounds so good right now. I can't even Ice Shard anyway. Alright, well, whatever. We'll go Vladimir. I like how that drain sounds. This could definitely be worse than just going Scar Grounds Ice Shard. Where can I find a full bodied red? Who do I want to pull over here? Brom. What could be better? We got it first. Took it fair and square. This one's a fighter. So they're taking five from Vladimir's Here's Crimson Pact. Got a lizard and a shovel. And they're taking actually they're taking six from the Crimson Pack because of the disciple. Okay. Yeah, we'll just let this happen. I heal my Nexus for five. Alright, so that puts them down to four. Cool. Good thing I went back on 14. General Darius. I always call the card Darius. Darius is a cooler name than Darius. I guess it's Darius. Is worthless. We are what we do. 
Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. So we can imagine they're gonna play another thing like that. All right, now we'll do this. Get some damage on the Darius so I can Scorched Earth. I guess I could have just done Bloodseeker. No, I didn't have the mana for Bloodseeker. I shard, Scorched Earth. All right, so Scorched Earth that, um, Blanc that thing, Blanc. You're so close to leveling up. This doesn't kill the action, but I don't want to risk either of my champions dying that much. I'm just not gonna. I'm just not leveling up this Braum. Maybe. Hmm. Two cards in hand. Yeah, this is fine. That will do. Trust Braum. Man, Vladimir Braum's awesome. Alright, up to Diamond 1. Almost to Masters. Five wins away. Seven O Dream still alive. Action Leeson. Leeson's the kind of card that can be really difficult to stop if they just have, you know, Leeson doing all its Leeson stuff. Now, if you, this thing, Three Sisters, could kind of help stop Leeson. A little bit. I'll still send it back, though. Okay, that's a good card. That's a good card to go with the Scar Grounds and everything. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Villains beware. Fine, fine. Fate is what I make. They have to have a plus three also, which they can. Look, it's two, two pump spells out of their hand. Okay, cool. That's also fine. We trade a, a troll chant for all that. Hmm. It's nothing personal. All right, I'm gonna go scar grounds. Plus blood letter. Oh no, I'm one mana short. Huh. We're going Scar Ground. And I guess we'll just play the blood letter. So I'm one mana short. I, I want to play next round. I want to play like the Braum, take a damage from the blood letter, and then the other card. Uh, you know, the Braum's champion spell. I guess I won't be able to Braum's champion spell. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Let us get going. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Get a glass of your own All right, so when they do some other blocking, and then I was gonna ice shard. Hello. 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 They didn't take the bait. 
All right, so now I found my family, my blood kin. Wow. Okay. God's nine. You cannot run from absolution. Got a lot of cards over there. A lot of cards. I'd have expected that. That just levels up this thing so fast. What is gained in return malevolence? Oh. Fortunately, Scar Grounds is the worst thing for us to draw. Yeah, they love the they love the pass. Cause the onus is on me to, to do stuff. We're getting got by this Warlord's Horde here real fast. Yeah. That's too bad. Well, I should have just done on the Curator. Why didn't I just do it on the Curator? I made four Crimson units that kind of don't do anything. A million spells over there. They, all right, so they played all three deep meditations, right? One, two. Three. Yeah, they played all three deep meditations. So let's assume that they have two plus threes. That's gonna be nine. I don't think they're gonna they're gonna have three plus threes. Probably not three plus threes, right? We Tarkas block. Oh, right, those things all cost zero this round. I forgot that they don't cost mana. Yeah, this is a bad block. This is a really bad block. Because I need the Tarkas for this. This, I forgot about the whole they cost one less. Good news, those are all gone. I really should have done that on. I really should have done the damage on a Crimson Dis Disciple. Is what I'm thinking, but then again. But then again, the problem has more power now, so it is able to kill that action. I'm gonna wait. It doesn't. Just doesn't need the plus three plus three. 
And I don't want to draw another Braum. This is a really fun deck to play against, isn't it? It's really fun. Just use two targeting spells or deny. This is just to, to get rid of a draw two. Potentially get rid of a draw two. But it could just fizzle. It would waste the, the targeting spells. Thing is, I'm going to need this for, like, Lee Sin, right? Like, maybe maybe that can help me kill Lee Sin. Fun deck to play against. We will do better. The Tarkaz block cost me that game, right? Like I need I need that Tarkaz to be able to attack. That block really hurt. Even though it waste it had them use a lot of spells, I, I couldn't block there. I for I just forgot about them not having like everything costing one less mana. Okay, I like playing against this Ionia Shrima deck a little more than Action Decent. Basically keeping this Aristocrat as an early blocker, but it's not great. Yeah, first early is here today. Play that Death Lotus, maybe. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Takes a little bit to get set up, but we're not doing that that bad. Really hoping they can't just like bounce stuff. No mercy for those Specifically my stuff. Our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. 
I'd never keep my guests waiting. Certainly hoping no recall. Everything's better with company. Says you. I'm absolutely parched. So puts Aurelia down to one health also. The Yordle here is with me. Yeah, if they, if they don't... I don't think we're losing if they don't recall. What terrors must we face up here? Whatever they are, we face them together. As long as they don't recall. Another thing super scared about is um, protection for the Green Glade duos. They, the, you, you, if they can protect both Green Glade duos. Master. With me! Today is the day we reclaim our homeland! Oh, oh no, should I trade that thing away? Huge and overwhelmed, though. He will just kill the Poro. Yeah. With Aurelia, that's that's probably a good call. Wait, but I don't want to trade Vladimir away. Um. Will you be quiet?
All right, this is going to be close. Another Vladimir. I mean, I think that's the best I can do. I, yeah, it's gotta be better to get the Aurelia than a Green Glade duo, even though the Green Glade duos oh, you're I can't in stomp. Faithless creature. So I'm them to one. All right, so we got we got transfusion. What's the best transfusion? Maybe yeah, Brom's never gonna level up. One damage there, plus two, plus two here. All right, so that's negative one. No recall, just let it happen. Negative one. Okay, cool. They were really taking a risk willing to go down to one, but I guess they, in order to win from me being at 13, I guess they needed the Azir and Bolt duo, so. All right. All right, five and one. Can we get back to back six and ones? Yeah, these these two decks, Noxus. <laughs> I don't even think Noxus is really that well positioned, but I don't know. Gangplank's Fade and Vladimir Brom, they're both Noxus decks. I'm pretty confident in both of these. I'm not as confident in the Jarvan Chen. I, I gotta find like one more that I'm real confident in. Well, I like both these decks. We've been doing really well. We were 4-1 with both of them yesterday. Win this one, it'll be 10-2 with both of them the last two days. Karma Thresh? Uh-oh. Karma Thresh sounds like a deck with Ruinations and stuff. The thing about our deck is we don't have that much card advantage normally. And like, Braum against Karma Thresh not nearly as good because they don't really care. Yeah, Karma Thresh can be a problem. Yeah, this is... This is a random deck that's a blast from the past that's really good against Vladimir Brom. So we're going to rely on the Crimson Curators for card advantage. But then again, I want to get out ahead early also, so I guess we're going to go that with Disciple. Pass. No. Oh, that's... I guess I just trades with one of them. Within the flows of magic. Oh, river shape the land. I have the land. I need the reputation. Ooh. We good. It's not the personal. Currents pull them down. I guess I wanted to take the damage. I guess Twin Disciplines plus is a card. I'll just go ahead and minus it up. mana short from having Vladimir and then Vladimir Champion spell. I guess we have Awakener and then Vladimir Champion spell, but at that point Thresh still kills Crimson Disciple. 
the thing is, if, if I pass round, they pass also. Like, if I'm them, I'm passing. If I pass, they pass. But if they don't, if they challenge, like, my 3-3, three, three, I could Fury of the North. I guess I could still Fury of the North if I have Blood Letter, but if I play Blood Letter, they probably just challenge the Blood Letter. It's not really worth entombing, I don't think. I only waste three mana if I pass. I guess I'm going to pass. Okay. Yeah, they got to pass. Yeah, they have. Think about it. This is going exactly how they want. They want. I never keep my guests waiting. Good deck against Vladimir Brom. Good deck. Over there. We kind of have to go wide and see if they like Ruination. And if they do, use like new Crimson Curator to rebuild. So it looks like looks like Withering Whale. Man, we're in a bad spot. The heart is the strongest muscle. I enjoy breaking yours. You don't. Matter. I don't really want to do one damage. I guess I could have put Braum on the other side of Vladimir, but the, the problem with that is then then Thresh would have been way on over on the right. What form will the waters take? Alright, so Thresh is now leveled up.
And the thing is, if Thresh does attack... Puts in karma. I have. I do have multiple things that can block the karma. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever they. Yes, yeah, so they obliterated the Poro with that. Yeah, with the uh, um, withering whale. But they did let me draw. By doing that, they also let me draw, draw the crimson disciple. So I guess they have a plan for this Vladimir. Must be vengeance or will. So I could transfusion the aristocrat and have the aristocrat block. But no, I have I have the backup Vladimir. I I guess we if it's vengeance we let it happen. So I'm worried about like if I do that then you know they could twin disciplines save. A lot easier. I hope we never play this matchup again whenever we're playing Vladimir and Braum. This is rough. Heart and mind as one. We've done decent enough so far. Yeah, it was a good rank up day. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be 5 and 2 with this deck. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Good deck from the past. That's great against Vladimir Brom. Is this match winnable with the landmark? No, not really. Because they also just, you know, have like your ruinations and stuff. Like they play a ruination, like this is so over. Also, like, no, it's not really. Not really winnable at all. It's a deck I haven't played against in, you know, weeks. And unfortunately, we just, you know, randomly got paired against it right now. Because the other thing is, it's not winnable, yet, you know, we still kind of have to play the game. And so it's just like 20 minutes of like, the smallest chance of winning, yet you can't, you're not supposed to just concede immediately, but it's like, it's also just like a huge waste of time also. So they're grabbing that to grab go hard, and then they, they triple go hard, okay. So this is gonna be a cool finish for them. I'll let them do this and then I'll concede. Oh, why didn't why don't you just play it? They just play the Gohar there. I guess they just want me to play more things. Oh, I guess they have other slow spells in their deck though. It could have been Ruination if they have that. Could have been that.
Let's get on out of here. Next time, we will do better. It's just... It's not that you just lose. It's soul-crushing loss. That it's just like, you know that you're going to lose for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And it just doesn't get better. And so it's just like that, that feeling of, man, I'm going to lose for that long. It's soul-crushing. Still great showing for Vladimir Braum. Really love this deck against all the small unit decks. Not Shadow Isles Control, not Karma, Shadow Isles for sure. But against the small unit decks, you have all these Avalanches, Ice Shards, Death Lotus. Really good against a lot of the metagame. So I like it quite a bit. Um, yeah, so there we go. It showed, showed up well again. So we got two decks in particular that I really, really like with the Gangplank's Fate and the Vladimir Braum. Jarvan Shen, that's all right. It's all right. We had we had some opponents really run hot against us with the Jarvan Shen, though, as well. So that's probably deck number three. So good, good rank update today. So we finished the day not quite in Diamond 1, but, you know, so we're six wins away from uh, Master's rank. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's see. How much time do we have? Today is the 7th, and it ends on the 13th. So we got basically a week left. We're getting there. Last couple of days, been good. So we'll keep on we'll keep on going. And then if we do get qualified for the tournament, probably play this lineup. This would be my, my best guess for the lineup right now, these three decks. And uh, then I'll ban, you know, like a Nivea control or Karma control. Like if we run into any of those kind of things, we'll ban those kind of decks. But looks good. So anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Vladimir Brom. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying watching it the last couple of days. So we'll probably be playing some more of it as we get over to Master's Rank. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.